Wi-Fi Direct allows users to connect to mobile devices such as smartphones, laptops, and tablets without having to connect to a local, public, or private network. To activate Wi-Fi Direct, do the following. Press the System Menu Counter key, use the down arrow, System Network, and press OK. Scroll to Network Setting and press OK. Scroll to Wi-Fi Direct Set and press OK. Wi-Fi Direct will appear on Select OK. Turn the machine off by pressing the on-off button for two seconds and then release. You will be asked if you wish to terminate any pending current jobs. Select Yes. The machine will shut down. Wait a few seconds and briefly press the on-off button. The machine will power back on and come to ready. The Wi-Fi Direct button just to the left of the display will illuminate green, meaning Wi-Fi Direct is now ready for configuration and use. Press the Wi-Fi Direct button. Scroll down and select Detail to get the connection information. Press OK. The first display says Device Name. This is the unique name for the printer. Jot this down for future reference. Press the right arrow. You will now see a network name SSID. Write this name and number, including the hyphen, so you can locate this information wirelessly from your mobile device or laptop. Press the right arrow. You will now see the unique password. Write this down exactly as you see it. Remember to mark upper and lower case characters. This is important since the password is case sensitive. Press the right arrow. Next is the currently assigned IP address. Write it down should you need it for diagnostic reasons. Press the right arrow. Next is network authorization. In most cases, you will use the default WPA2-PSK. So leave this setting as configured. Press the right arrow key. The final screen is data encryption. If you use encryption, enable it. Otherwise, leave it disabled. For home office, we recommend you leave this at factory default, disable. Now press OK. You have now configured Wi-Fi Direct for use with your mobile or portable device. Press exit to return to the home screen. You will now need to connect to the access point on the printer from your mobile or wireless laptop. In this example, we will use the Windows laptop computer. Find the wireless SSID which will read as direct dash and a series of numbers. They should match what you wrote down under detail. In our example and with our printer, we have direct S9KM9FD85F. We will select the access point. Next we're asked, do we want to connect automatically? If this is a routine printer you connect to, such as in your home, you will probably want to set this to connect automatically. Now we want to connect to the printer. So select connect. You will be presented with this screen. We are using a security key, so pick it from below. Click on the connect using a security key instead. The prompt will now request you enter a network security key. Use the password you wrote down earlier and carefully enter in this box. If I want to verify what I typed in, press the eyeball icon to the right. This will reveal what you typed in. Make any necessary corrections now. Select Next. Next you'll see, do you want to allow your PC to be discoverable? Select Yes if you're on a home network. The display will now try to connect to the printer access point. The display will show a connection to our access point. It will also say no internet connection. This is normal. You can now print directly to the Kyocera M2635 printer. Consult the operations guide for additional information on how to print using your mobile device.